We're meeting this morning with Dr. Stephen Langer, a medical doctor in private practice in Berkeley, California. Good morning, doctor. Morning, Tom. We'd like to talk about an interesting uh, molecule called uh, glutathione, which actually has been called in some cases the body's master antioxidant. It is a tripeptide made up of three other amino acids, L-cysteine, L-glutamine, and glycine. Uh, doctor, how did you first become interested in glutathione? Well, as you said, it's the body's master antioxidant. It's in every single cell in our body, from our hair follicles to our toenails. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have specialized in the treatment of thyroid problems mm -hmm. for decades now in my Berkeley, California practice. And this is the first molecule that I've come across that has really stoked my, you know, my fires as much as the thyroid hormone has because it's so important to, to every cell in our body. Without it, we would not be able to be alive, basically. That's a very interesting point because with something that's as important as that, why is it that we haven't heard more about it? I mean, it's well, been around a long time, but most people don't know what it is. Scientists have known about it, and as you said, it is the master antioxidant. It, it is produced naturally by our bodies inside of every single cell. So a lot of people for a long time did not feel that we needed supplementation. And then when the molecule itself was synthesized, in other words, was put together mm -hmm. by uh, various chemical ways of, of, of getting the molecules mm -hmm. to, to, to stick together. Mm -hmm. and, and tests were done both on animal subjects and on human subjects. The feeling was that the concentration levels of the, uh, of the glutathione were not sufficient to, to, to be interested in it as a supplement because they didn't feel that it actually got across the GI tract mm -hmm intact. What, in fact, the, the scientists thought was going on was that the molecule was broken down into the component amino acids you know, in the digestive tract, went across the digestive system into our bloodstreams, and then was reconstituted in the cells mm -hmm. as glutathione. And in mm -hmm. fact, uh, uh, scientific studies have shown that this is not the case, a hundred percent. In other words, it does break down into component molecules, mm -hmm. but the glutathione, part of the glutathione, is actually transmitted into the cells intact. Okay. And in fact, the, uh, the, the, the scientists were looking at, at the wrong sample. They were looking at, 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 at serum levels mm -hmm. rather than at tissue samples. Okay. And in recent years, when, when actual tissues well, looked at, the glutathione levels went up when, when glutathione was taken. So there is a direct cause and effect relationship by taking oral glutathione and getting elevated glutathione levels in the body. So in other words, what they were first looking at, they'd see, they see it uh, disassemble back into the three amino acids uh, that, that form it, that make it. And when they saw that, they said that's where they, that's where they stopped. They yeah, said, and, I, course, and I think you, we should. You're not getting you know, any benefit out of it. You know, for, for the for the <laughs> benefits of, of people who are watching this and are, aren't aren't sure what an amino acid is, mm -hmm. amino acids are molecules that, that that are components of every single protein that we have. Every protein is made up of a variety of amino acids. Mm -hmm. So. Protein means of primary importance, mm -hmm. and three of these many amino acids together are the premier antioxidant, again, in every cell in the body. And uh, it, it does many, many other things be besides act as an antioxidant. But if it was only an antioxidant, it would still be one of the most important molecules that our bodies make. So we want to talk about some of the other things that it does besides being an, uh, an antioxidant, which, as you said, is certainly very important, in fact, of uh, primary importance to us as just as an antioxidant. But what are some of the other things that it does? Well, in addition to being a master antioxidant, it's, it's, a, it's a master detoxifier. In other words, okay. our bodies all day long are bombarded with, uh, with pollutants, toxins, heavy metals, uh, microorganisms, i.e. germs of, of, of mm -hmm. different sorts, that the body has to, has to uh, uh, detoxify and eliminate to, uh, to, to, to keep us healthy. Uh, there are 80,000 chemicals that, that, that are known in, in, the, in, our, in our food supply now, mm -hmm. a lot of which, most of which, 
we don't know actually what you know what the government is only just getting around to 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 to, to doing research on what these these chemicals are doing in our bodies GSH is, is, is the first line of defense to detoxify any of these chemicals that can cause harm in the body. And it's only when, it's over, when the body is overwhelmed and the GSH is overwhelmed that we get into trouble. But the GSH will, will actually, in a two-step process, take these, these, these toxins and actually make them water-soluble, if they're not water-soluble, and then neutralize them and eliminate them either, you know, in, 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 in our bowel movements during the day or in, in our sweat or, or, or through our urine, which are the three major uh, ways that we excrete toxins in the body. And the body's major organ for dealing with, with toxins is, of course, the liver. So it, it is, It's the major organ, but, of course, the other two major organs are the, uh, the kidneys, kidneys and, and, and then the skin. And the sweat. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and it's interesting that the, the liver is the major detoxifying organ in the body as well as, as doing hundreds of other things. But sticking with detoxif detoxification, uh, it is so important that there is literally at any one time 15 grams of glutathione in the body. The liver has at least four grams of the 15 grams, so almost a third mm -hmm. of the glutathione of all of our cells in the body are concentrated in the liver. It's so necessary there, you know, mm -hmm. for, for, for detox mm -hmm. and for antioxidation. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about uh, glutathione and the importance, as we said earlier, of the body producing glutathione itself. Uh, it does this every day. It needs to do this constantly. Does this a uniform thing from all throughout our ages, or our life, or does it at a certain point, do we find we're having a harder, uh, harder well, time doing that? Like, 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 like every other uh, uh, physiological factoid mm -hmm. in our existence, as we age, the concentrations of these essential nutrients start to be depleted as we, as we get older. They go south for the winter, mm -hmm. as it were. So up through the age of... 40, actually it, starting at age 20, you get a gradual decline sticking with glutathione mm -hmm. and glutathione. It starts to speed up at 40 and when a person reaches age 60, it takes a precipitous drop. And uh, I, would, I would venture to say that most people over the age of 60 are not manufacturing an optimal amount of glutathione to keep their bodies healthy. And going back to what we said earlier, most people have never even heard of it. They don't well, even know that this well, that they have this problem. Most people don't know. Don't. Well, I mean, to, to give you an example, uh, since uh, glutathione is manufactured by the body, it is not considered, even though it is the master molecule that we discussed, mm -hmm. it's not considered an essential nutrient like a vitamin or mm -hmm. a mineral or, 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 or an essential fatty acid, which we have to get every day from our food. Mm -hmm. This is manufactured by the body. So, so 100% certainty of, of, of exactly how much glutathione is necessary is not clinically known. It's thought to be around 250 to 300 milligrams a day. The average American diet, that is if you're absorbing the food, contains only 35 to 85 milligrams a day. So most people, just by virtue of what they're getting into their diet, are depleted by, by more than two-thirds. And then when you superimpose on that, the people have GI disturbances, have thyroid disorders, and have lots of other disorders that actually impact on the ability to absorb mm -hmm. and once the body, once it's, it's actually absorbed to utilize these nutrients people are really deficient in you know in this master molecule mm -hmm. and it's incumbent i think on most people who are interested in optimal health peak performance and anti-aging to supplement their diet every day with uh, with with glutathione mm -hmm. and the complementary uh, uh, supplements that, that, that give you the building blocks of the, of the glutathione to get a complete package. You said by the time you're 60 and, and beyond that, your ability to produce glutathione it has is, really decreased. It's is re is really decreased and uh, not trying to be sexist, but 
there, there, is, uh, there is a sexual bias as far as the, the, the rate of decline after mm -hmm. age 60. Mm -hmm. It seems that women have a much steeper rate of decline after mm -hmm. age 60 than mm -hmm. men do. Mm -hmm. So it's particularly important for a woman to be getting supplemental glutathione mm -hmm. after age 60 to protect mm -hmm. their bodies. Again, to protect their performance and to keep their bodies from, from aging. It is the premier anti-aging nutrient that, that, that a person can take now mm -hmm. to, stay, uh, to stay vital mm -hmm. uh, for, for as long as they're, they're alive.